Okay. How about now? How about, about now? now? Can you hear me now? How about now? Can you hear me now? How about now? Can you hear me now? How about now? Yay! Huh. We said a whole bunch of stuff. You'll have to go back and rewind it and lip read. <laughs> we didn't say much. So I said lots of things. Here's the scoop. So we are we are doing a unboxing within an unboxing within an unboxing. Unboxing Inception! So I would normally wait till our Tuesday show. Well, A, our Tuesday show is a top ten, but that's never stopped before. We've done unboxings at the end of top tens. But she's gone this weekend. State, 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 So state. I want to play things that's in those boxes. <laughs> I prepped for this weekend by purchasing things. So I call you Instant Gratification Man. <laughs> so I guess I was editing a video right before we came on, and I guess I had the mic keyed to the editing software. And... Oh, look at you. Anyway. Those IT people, man. Anyway, I guess I didn't <laughs> reset something. <laughs> or Windows did Windows things. So we're going to jump right in. So we got a big giant box from The Cool Stuff. And we have a Kickstarter that came in. So exciting. Are there flutters of little birds? No. Oh, no, that wasn't That's a Kickstarter. It's not a Kickstarter, and that thing costs I... like $5,000 right oh. now. No, I don't know. No, it's not fluttered. I don't have my finger on the pulse of the board games right now. So, <laughs> so we're going to start off with the Kickstarter, and then we'll go to the cool stuff box. And like I said, we're going to unbox the boxes within the boxes that are within the boxes. I can't handle all this. <laughs> Too many layers. All right, here we go. It's like an onion. All right. Am I just sitting here? I have to move the camera. I don't know how am much I, of the table it's showing. Here? That's cool. Yeah, it's showing a lot. You just caused like an earthquake. Sorry. Ah, you didn't pre-open it. It is. It's ready. You just have to get, put some muscle behind it. Start that in. Is that pre-open? No. Yeah, it That's is. Okay. It's I'm, open. I'm mean. Don't get peanuts. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this? <gasps> what? I don't know how to get this out nicely. You're gonna play this without me? No, not this one. Oh, there's. Escape plan! Lesser to greatness! That's probably really loud. Ooh, and now that you've had lots of... Um, I don't need this one. is... Okay, this is the from the same guy that made Vinhos and the name of the, the art one that I always forget, the gallerist, and um, Kanban, all of those greatness, and this... Oh, man... Grab your cash and escape the city before the police close in. Oh, yeah. So this one's a Kickstarter. It's not obviously not out in retail yet. This is his latest and greatest. So this one, like I <laughs> said, you're, you're basically committed some heist or something, and everyone's trying to flee the city, and things happen. euro, euro things happen. The chat has a really good point. James what? pointed out that this is technically an escape game. Kind of is. But it has... It has Vital Lacerta seal of approval on the side. So, so this is a this is an escape plan that you're. I mean, an escape game that you're going to be behind. You're gonna, you like this? Yes. That's interesting that really they did it this way. I'm, I'm knocking the camera everywhere. There's going to be a lot of <laughs> a lot of camera knocking tonight. Sorry. So this one, um, this is I assume going to be the retail version here, and then this is like the Kickstarter extra stuff. Colored cubes instead of plain cubes. I, I guess. I don't know what all we <laughs> the things got. things you get excited about. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what all's in the thing. Okay. I don't think this one would be very exciting to unbox. It's a lot of cardboard. It's probably a lot of cardboard. Well, it weighs like it's a lot of cardboard. It's maybe some rocks. Now, I'm excited about this one. Um, <laughs> I heard that... Is this one that's the one that's three, three or more only? I can't remember. What? All right. No, no, it plays one to five, but the okay. two-player has like a variant going on. So this one I may save to play with Nessa, <laughs> with some, with other people. And coming up in, I want to say two weeks That's soon, like Easter is something. the Kickstarter for the one I really want to get, Vital Lacerta's On Mars. What? <laughs> Lacerta is quickly rising in the ranks of my top five t-shirt. I may have to change that soon. I don't know how this giant Ooh, cool stuff greatness. box is going to fit, so we're going to have to put it beside Rebecca. <laughs> this thing's ridiculous. You don't want to lift it up here? No. Come on. All right. All right. Dig I could in. probably fit in this box. That's crazy. 
dig in. The stuff I actually want to unbox is in. So, so in, in packing. This. Even more packing. Eh. Oh, there's a box in. I told you there's a box within a box. What? I, what is this? Roll for the galaxy rivalry? What? I didn't even know this was a thing. Well, but, but wait, there's more. This is one of the ones I'm going to open up. So here's your unboxing within an unboxing. Yes. Because I want to show Rebecca something that's going to blow her mind. It's going to blow your mind. Well, since I'm trying to combine words together and stuff, it's probably not going to take much. So but can... I'm excited. This Expansion is great. number two. I like how it has that inside. Oh, it actually says that? That's yes. funny. Because expansion number one for this game is amazing. It's the one that added the orange dice. All right. So. This game is so good. Anyway, I, I am stoked. Someone, actually, I owe someone in the chat for mentioning this because I, I, I heard about it, but I didn't hear about it. <laughs> they told me what this is about. Get ready to have your mind blown. All right, here we go. Piles of cardboard, rules. Player aids. Uh huh. Other miscellaneous cardboardy goodness. Okay. And wait for it. Customizable what? dice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we were just talking about these, yes. and we're like, and someone we... mentioned it in chat, and I didn't say anything. Sorry for the noise. All right. Well, it's an unboxing. You expect some noise. The earthquakes, maybe not so much, but. So yeah, look, you have... Oh my gosh, you guys, you it can has, make your own dice for this. Yeah, you customize your dice. And Rolls of the Galaxy is already cool, so this is going to be insane. Oh, I see things that are making stuff cheaper already. See, the dice has dice oh, with little wow. empty faces and has all these little, what she's showing you. little dials. All these little bazillion of little faces that you can put on them to customize your dice. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> this is going to be so cool. And more orange dice that you love so much. Yeah, because they're awesome. Well, they give you what they do. What they do is, which is kind of cool. The this game assumes you own the first expansion, but just in case you don't, they it gives you stuff you need to play this without the other expansion, which is kind of cool. That's very cool. So you of get them. the black and orange dice. Wow. Hey, well played, guys. So. Who who does this? This was Rio Grande. Yeah. Okay. Well played, because they could have easily done the, well, you must go buy the other expansion game, you know. I really don't want to make a mess, That's but I really cool. want to play with these dice, so. Oh, man, look what you started. I hate that I'm using teeth on this. That probably drives people crazy. That's your teeth. I have no fingernails. I have... All right, so here we go. We're going to no put it to the test. There's the die. Same size as uh, that other one. Wow, I have lost English. The other game with the dice. Dice, dice Forge. Forge. All right, yeah, here. Dice Forge. They're the same size. I'm liking that. All right, here we go. It, here. Similar looking like Here's a your little... clicky mechanism. Yeah, I was going to ask you. Oh, is this our digger? I think it's a digger. It's our toothpick. It's <laughs> here. Um. Hey, I was going to do that. Was it easy? Was it easy to put them in? Yeah. Okay. Oh, man, you guys. Okay. <laughs> All right. That was easy. And I'm rolling it. Like a total goon, and it's not coming off. Okay, that's officially awesome. What are you doing? Oh, you're playing. I'm making a die. And these work amazingly well. I just barely once I got it right there, boop, popped right out. So I was I was iffy on this because I, I didn't hear much about it, and then someone mentioned customizable dice. And I'm like, what? Click, 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 click. And so now buy I buy all the things. But I had to buy it. Okay, that's amazing. There's your customized dice. Why? Thank you. A I'm die. gonna pry it apart. <laughs> oh dear. It works really well. <laughs> This is I'll gonna, work on that. This is gonna this is gonna make oh. a total mess when I put this put this away. But oh well. Do not lose. Pieces I wasn't of trying to die. lose it. I didn't think it was gonna fly. <laughs> ah! If you pop it I like a goob, that. it's gonna fly everywhere. A goob. I'm a goob. So there you go. There is the latest and greatest expansion for Roll for the Galaxy. We're probably gonna get this played pretty quickly, uh, and yeah. we'll give you our opinions on it. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Next up on the old agenda. I don't like the box is weird. It's other your expansion weird. box weird like this? Oh, we don't own it. It's got we like do a own weird. It. We just combined it's it. It's got a weird uh, map texture. Texture to it. Are you getting all weird about textures mm. or something? Mm. We'll be tossing this box. <laughs> is it all gonna fit in there? I don't, I don't know. know. We'll find out. 
Okay, so next up. Good heavens, you have been busy. Uwe, my buddy Uwe, at the gates of Loyang. Whoa! Okay, I really don't know much about this game. So what I've heard, tell me. What I've heard is this is not like most of his other games. One of these things is not It's like not the stand... I mean, it's got the, the veggies and the fruits and the ve things like that, like Sweet. his other games. Oh, it's but I hear it's not worker placement. Say what? It's... But... It's, what? But... But Uwe... It's like a trading auction game, maybe? I don't know. I don't know much about it. All right, Uwe. I just know this was out of print. You're awesome, so it's going to be cool. Tasty Minstrel reprinted it. I, I love me some Tasty Minstrel games. They make they do, really, they do really good components and such. Yes. So That's going to be awesome. I had to get it. It's Uwe. So. Our buddy. Okay, Rosenberg game. Roll for the Galaxy game. Lacerda game. Is it Christmas? Because it feels like Christmas. This is awesome. Sorry, I may have to stay home this weekend. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm totally taking my kids to stay. But... You want to crack I'm into it? Yeah, I want to peek at it. Because, like you said, if they have cool components... You guys came for an unboxing. Let's see an unboxing! Well, it's a boxing within an unboxing. I know, I know, but this is a boxing, too. We unboxed it, now we're going to unbox it. That's what I said. Unboxing squared. Or cubed. Or... Crusaders, thy will be done. No. What is that? I'm not Crusaders? sure what that is. Is that, an, is that an Uwe game, too? Or is that something else? We've got Do rules. Tell, James. We've got roleplay rules. We've got... Components oh my up. gosh, we got, they got like the lima little, beans. They got the little wood, the cardboard. They are beans. <laughs> they have cardboard uh, money, but it has the little holes in it. <gasps> oh yes, we have pumpkins. A and block of cards, <laughs> like like a massive block of wow. cards. Guys, can you see these? These are glorious. Look at these veggies. Okay, they're pretty amazing. <laughs> a rondelle for actions. Ooh, I like stuff like that. Hmm. That sounds like fun. This sounds good. Mm, you have to peek at that one. It's a TMG also. Well, what's funny is this was this was good. this was for sale at our local game store, and I never got it because um, we, it was early on when we first started gaming. Oh, and we weren't okay. really into the heavy games yet. Mm -hmm. And by the time I realized that it was out of print, someone picked it up. So. Oh, shamey, shamey. But now it's back in print and super cheap. Well, not well, relatively cheap. That's awesome. Yeah, that's a ton Board of resources. Game but again, we are talking not, about not Rosenberg. out of print, expensive. Rosenberg. All right, here we go. Resources. Here's here's the one I'm talking about for this weekend. Oh, you're talking about more packing. The box within a box. Oh man, what is this? Oh gosh. Oh, what is this garbage? Okay, this is not the box that I was telling you I could fit in, but this is the box that you, you obviously don't, don't show the side of it. You give it. Oh, they already seen it. They know already know what it is. <laughs> insane. Oh, well, it's written all over the thing. <laughs> this is... You actually broke down and got... Shh, shh. They don't know yet. <laughs> oh, no. He didn't get wingspan. Don't worry. We already have architects. Yeah. We got that a long time ago. Well, in relative terms. Geologic terms. Very recently. This is not... I need help. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, what'd you break? Holy crap. Did you break something? No. Oh, the si Nice. The scissors are open. I'm, I almost died. You saw it. Hype, 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 Good <laughs> lord. This is huge. I could fit a child in this. <laughs> oh, I, I broke down and did it. Oh my goodness. Well, I just goodness. finished uh, God of War on the PlayStation 4, so I have some free time on my hands. So I figured I'd spend a couple hundred hours playing this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you got all feisty from fighting on God of War, and now you're like, Little oh, Mavon! So, That's yes, amazing. I've I've fallen into the hype train. And I hit, hit, hit something not to give it away. What? So, if Rebecca... Ever decides they won't play with me, I got the sticker set. Oh my goodness. Heck yeah, I'll play with you, goober. <laughs> no, I'm saying that I can go through the campaign and I put oh. it's a legacy it's a legacy game. Oh, okay, okay. You, I didn't realize so that. These replace the stickers, so um, <laughs> That's yeah. really cool. Benjamin says guess you'll be setting it up and never putting it away. <laughs> well that's that's the plan. Only put it away when absolutely necessary. 
So you're going to put it on the back end of the game yes. table? and Yes. Well played. So I got the, the, re the re reusable stickers to uh, so that I can reset the campaign for Rebecca and I to play someday. Yay! That's so cool. Okay. I officially find that intriguing. I, I wonder if more legacy games will think about doing something like that. Because that's... That's pretty clever. Or do like uh Oh, like Charter Stone with a recharge pack? Yeah, the recharge where pack. Where they got two, two boards. Because I think all they would need to do is give you another map and cards, maybe? I don't know. Well, but, I guess you'll find out when you play. I don't know enough but, about it. I don't want to open it up because... But it was an unboxing of an unboxing. Well, we, I can un unboxing. open up some of it, but I think there's... It's boxing and There's such spoilery oh. stuff. Oh, is there? But I guess as long as I don't open the spoilery stuff, it won't matter, right? There you go. So, avert your eyes if you don't want to know what's in the box. What's in the box? <laughs> Let's see. I'm intrigued. All I know is it weighs like 30 pounds. I'm not exaggerating. Oh, I missed some. No, you're not exaggerating. Oh, I could have gotten that for you. Look at you. Trying to cut me. He cut me. They don't want me to get into this box, that's for sure. Well, they don't want you spoiling it. Look at you. <laughs> All right, spoiler make it, spoiler I think it actually opens now. It says you. Yeah. Okay, there it goes. Had to get some air in there. Wow, what is this? It weighs five pounds. Rule book. Don't look too bad. I saw spoilers. <laughs> I'm kidding. I was looking at it upside down. That's a storybook, I guess. I assume. Ooh, location stickers. Probably. Oh, this is gonna be like one of those video games where you start uh, like revealing your map. Yes. As you I go. Assume so. Yes. I'm not gonna show any of that stuff. No. I don't, I don't want to see your. Don't show me this crap. We'll look at the board, though. Okay. It's blank. Yes! It kind of is. Oh my gosh, this so looks like, um... The, um... Video game you were playing recently. What's that? God of War? No, not God of War. The one before it. Uh, Western game. Uh, uh... Red Dead. Red Dead. It's like the Red Dead Redemption map. It's all empty. He hasn't explored it yet. Bunch of stickers. <laughs> Update tracker for your New Year's resolution. Res Oh, they want you to have a, a Gloomhaven tracker. <laughs> how, how many how many scenarios I've played? <laughs> Block a cardboard. Like that's like, that's 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 insane. That's gonna break one of our shelves. Block a cardboard. And then we got envelopes Ooh, and like things like books. you open. It's like books. A bunch of cards. Oh, this a bunch is of key so cards. Cool. And there's they have a little. I don't know if you can see it, but they're all sealed with like a little wax seal. <laughs> well, it's not really wax seal, it's a sticker, but it made it look like wax seal. That's so cool. And I'm told once you take this out of the box, you never get it back in the okay, box. Okay, so don't you do it. Don't you do it. <laughs> so I'm going to put it all back okay, before that's I exciting. get in trouble. That is so cool. Oops. Oh, man. Now you're just, you're just breaking stuff left and right. So I'm very excited about this. That's very it's because cool. I heard, now I, I don't know that much about it. You put these back right. I did too. You messed it up. The, uh, I heard, and this may just be hearing, that this is not a normal dungeon <laughs> crawl in terms of rolling dice to do your combat. It's kind of like you have a deck of cards that do your combat or something. I don't know. They call it a euro -y dungeon crawl. I don't know what that means. But I'm excited about this, so I'll be giving you updates on how far I've gotten and <laughs> such with this. Yeah, getting it back into the box is compounded once you punch out the cardboard. Which is funny because you're taking out so much volume, but somehow... Dun, I think dun, what dun. I want in my solution, I don't know if it's the best solution, is I'm going to get some Plano boxes. Okay. And I, once I punch it, I'll see what I have. But just basically leave it out. Like, leave the Plano boxes out. Leave the map. Whatever I, whatever I can leave out, leave out at the end of the table. And then um, when we're filming, I'll just kind of push it to the side and then... That half of the table will be for Gloomhaven, and this half of the table will be for all the other games. So. Okay. I'm very excited now that I read Paul's thing. He says it's card-based combat. Each card has two combat options. Yes! I hate rolling dice. Yeah. Oh, so, so cool. I think, so you, cool. I think you'll really like this. You just have to find time to do it. <laughs> 2029? Yep. <laughs> that is going to be a wild and crazy year. <laughs> but no, I'm really super stoked about this. I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't going to do it, but... You I did, did it. <laughs> if you run out of cards, you die. That's interesting. That works for me. Don't die. I don't know. 
So I'm probably going to play this by myself. I heard two or three characters oh, is the way to go if you're solo in it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do two, probably three. Three characters. So, super excited. Sinister Fish Games. <laughs> I've never heard of that. That's a greatness. But I like the I like the idea. This is really cool. Removable sticker set. I am like crazy intrigued by that. It basically replaces those sheets of stickers yeah. that I had in there. And no, you can, I just I really and, and they're like vinyl, that. so they can you can peel them on and off, and you reuse them. They say if you take care of your stickers, you can use it from use them multiple times. So I don't know how many times we're going to be resetting the entire board, but I think that's very cool. Ooh, atypical characters. What? Two is smarter, so Rebecca can jump in and out. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna do a little bit of research before I jump into it from people that played it solo. Because I'm gonna play, I'm gonna play through the whole thing <laughs> by myself. Uh, okay. And then maybe we'll do a second one. Big goat guy, Paul. I yeah. I, out of context, that's just weird. Yeah, <laughs> but the the, the for what I hear, this is not your standard elves, dwarves, orcs, goblins mm, okay. campaign. It's so a, apparently, it's, there's big goats. It's says he basically invented the entire world. So, oh, I like you. I so like it's you. all new stuff. I like the little lizard dude. Kind of looks like well, a, a evil, angry bearded evil, dragon evil looking with kitty cat thing. Oh, there's demon kitties. Okay. Oh, cool. <laughs> Cats are the devil. All right, so we weren't going to do a long show tonight. We just wanted I just wanted to get this unboxed. I didn't want to <laughs> you guys to miss out on it. Um, I wanted to talk about Roll for the Galaxy the expansion because I didn't realize it was a customizable customizable dice. Yeah, that's and cool. And it is. That's so cool. And this game's been out of print. It's back in print, so I wanted everyone to get a chance. And I hear, like I said, I hear it's diff very different from his other games. I'm so intrigued by this now. Well, I know it's very different because I saw that it's got beans in it, like lima beans. Normally, he just has. Well, he made his it during his wheat. bonanza bonanza time period. So this is like an artist. Instead of his green <laughs> period, he's got his bean, bean period. period. And then, of course, I like this. Well, like quickly becoming one of my favorite. Oh, Euro, Euro game designer. Oh my gosh! And this is, seems unlike some of his games too, because it's uh, I don't know. The theme is he usually do that dudes. He does. He, he does the themes like <laughs> historical type things. I guess maybe not really. I guess Venus isn't really historical, but real vineyards world, are real world. I guess I like that he does real world themes. I guess is a better way to say it. Do you know what's ridiculous? The Gloomhaven is blocking the title Escape Plan, and it's sitting in our table. That is ridiculous. <laughs> I just want to point that out. This is ridiculous. And now you know why we're calling games. <laughs> we're we, gonna need to we call need three 20... shelves just for Gloomhaven. Yeah, I'm like, we're gonna have to saw a hole in the wall to fit this thing in here. This is crazy. So I'm excited. We haven't, I haven't right. had any games in months and months, and I, I get a whole... I like how you say months and months, and you're like, it's been like a month. <laughs> it's been months? When's the last game I bought? I don't even know. I don't keep it's track anymore. It's been a anymore. while. No, no. It hasn't been a while. Yeah, it has. You got totally liquid or something. No. Man. Yeah. Uh, that, yeah that, that was a Kickstarter. Yeah, that's why I said so that, that the, the, the On Mars is about to kick Kickstarter, and I will be back, 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 back. Give me everything. Give me everything. I want it all. I heard there was a, I heard good things about it. The play they're, they're wrapping up the playtesting of it, oh. and everyone's doing uh, raving awesome. raving about it. Yay! So. Oh my gosh, space. Yep. How y'all living? <laughs> We're living large. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. So I don't know. Oh I'm, cu my. I'm curious to see uh, how I'm gonna like this one because I, I I've played several Dungeon Crawl solo. Um, and they didn't really captivate me, but this one just really seemed interesting to me because, yeah. like you said, like like it's, like I said, it's it's very uh, unique. It's a world you don't expect, right? It's, it's, yeah. Because you you play a lot of dungeon crawls, like oh look, orcs and goblins and minotaurs and all your usual fantasy trope. Ooh, look at you trope. pulling out those fifty cent words. Fantasy trope, but this one uh, is supposedly Ooh. unique and got a nice storyline and all that stuff. So we'll see. <laughs> Yes, it's a coffee table game. It's a coffee As table it game. Size. That's what we'll do. Let's just is it, is wood, it, wood glue some legs to the bottom of this. Does this even fit in a in No, a, in it a, doesn't. In a it's obviously going to have to go in the bottom or all it's going to become top on, heavy and fall over. Hold on. What's in view? Let's see. Let's see. Let's take this. Oh, no. I'm curious. Watch Hunter break a shelf. <laughs> I don't think this will be supported. I think you need to put it on a bottom shelf. I'm curious. I'm not kidding. Oh, man. Pardon my uh, indulgence here. Pardon me as we break a shelf. This will be exciting. Tim the Tool Man Taylor. <laughs> All right. 
throw my back out. <laughs> Good grief. Can you see this nonsense? Like a glove? No, that is not a glove. Like a glove. If the glove fits, you... Look at that. Look at that. Is the shelf visibly bowing? It's it's got about an inch sticking out. And look look at this. Look at this. No, you're... Look at that. Oh, God. Look at that. Plenty of room. I'm just waiting for that shelf to collapse. Plenty of room. It's so weight. (laughs) I don't think you should leave it. I'm scared. (laughs) This whole thing's gonna fall down. Who's gonna, gonna hear a crack and the, the fall? All they're gonna see is the board games just all come in a big wave at the camera and knock it out. All right, folks. I think that's all. All I wanted to do tonight. Um, if you have any quick questions, we'll answer them. But Rebecca is going. Where are you going? I'm going to Austin. Austin to the state JCL competition. Competition. The capital of the great state of Texas. Woot woot. We're gonna take it over. Maybe. We'll see. Hopefully you guys will do good. Actually, I don't want to take it over. I just want them to go to So it's me and Nessa. If they don't, I'll be totally Me and Nessa anyway, flying, awesome. flying duo. Not that's solo, right. I guess. Flying duo this weekend. Duo, that's right. She's going to be my, my Gloomhaven assistant. <laughs> She'll be holding all the pieces, <laughs> organizing your pieces for you. Keep yeah. in mind the box will never close like yeah, that see, again. He's not going to be able to put Arcadia Quest on the top of that unless it's to help weigh it down. Junior yeah, Classical the, the, the League, con- the JCL Junior Classical League, it is for Latin students for competition. It's a national slash technically international uh, club, and uh, it's pretty neat organization. So my kids made it through area, and the next step in Texas anyway is state. So they go to state, and if they make the top five there, they can qualify to go to nationals, which is this summer. And Where? You know this that. summer, it is up in Fargo, North Dakota at North How Dakota, you doing there North now? Dakota <laughs> State University. Um, but it travels every year. It's been in Florida, near D.C., and California. Like, it's all over the U.S. It's in a different place every year. The state summer. competition, does it move around, too? Yes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yes, yep. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Michael, you had a great point. 29 pounds per shelf on a Calax. I think Arcadia Quest put it over because Bloomhaven's 22 pounds. And you just threw... I'm telling oh, you... Dear. You better take Arcadia Quest off pronto. It's the, like a ticking time bomb. The fire marshal's going to come in and, and condemn my shelf. Yeah. Yes, this is the Roll for Galaxy new expansion with the customizable dice. We're very excited. Yes. So we'll play this one soon. Hopefully we'll uh, give you a review of it. Um, not next time, but the time after. Yep. So... Excited! I'm excited. It's very cool. So whoever very cool. whoever mentioned the customizable dice, you just cost me like. Oh, by the way, <laughs> most expensive expansion in the history of expansions, I think. Really? Yes. Take a gander. How much this expansion costs? Now I'm scared. Forty. No. More? Yes. Oh, because of the customizable dice. Yes. This is this expansion costs more than the base game. That's insane. Yeah. Okay. Well. But. Ouch. But, you know. We're going to play the snot out of it, but. This expansion requires a copy of Roll for the Galaxy to play. The Ambition expansion is recommended, but not required. That's why it's so expensive they threw all that extra dice in. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited about those. This is cool. You have, new, I, you have new starting factions. Oh, cool. You have the like customizable it, dice. Yeah. What else does it say? You got you got some kind of weird looking market thing going on in oh, the middle of here. Nothing like weird looking markets to me. I don't know what that is. Game. So this is back of the box. Since <laughs> if you guys know, we did the back of the box review. This is a excellent back back of the box review. We got contents over here on the side. We got a good view of everything that's new. Got short blurbs, not block text. Oh, blurbs! We have blurbs. Short blurbs. Okay. And it says three expansions in one. I'm excited. What? Okay. I'm I'm intrigued. I really wish I didn't have to pack and do stuff tonight because I really want to play the game. Make deals, trade unused assets for new dice, tiles, credit points, etc. Almost anything is possible in the deal game. What? He says, what? Um, Ryan says he hasn't done the market one yet, so. It is a market. I called it just about the Oh at. my gosh, yes, Benjamin, the champions of Midgard. Good grief. Yeah, those were expensive too. Totally worth it, you're Research right. Research alien technologies game. represented by customizable... Swappable dice faces in the Alien Orb game. Oh, yes. Nothing like some alien orbs. Play expansion totally separately liquid. or combine them. Build the best empire to win. Heck, yeah. I'm totally winning. Explore new strategies with new factions, start worlds, game tiles, and new pioneer dice. Pioneer dice. 
What? <laughs> this this looks awesome. Yeah, I'm excited about I that one. Scared. That one's really exciting. Okay. I, I, I don't know why that was off my radar, but I'm glad I, I grabbed it. I'm curious about this one, too. I'm, I'm curious about all these, but I this totally didn't even know about that one. All right. And, ah, uh, wow. So now you've seen an unboxing of an unboxing, and as a bonus, you saw an unboxing of an unboxing of an unboxing. There's a box within a box within a box. Yeah, that... And if we were going to get into spoilers, we could have gone one more level, but Hunter's... Yeah, we, we could have part, part cracking open the Gloomhaven boxes and, and have people freak out. That's a good question. Do you think we'll get this all in the base box? I'm... The tiles... We always throw out the inserts. Right. The insert's crap. Here we go. So let me see. Did we do that? Oh, wait. We have the insert. Oh, does it have room? No, I don't think it does. We, we barely... I think it... Uh, Oh, these dice take up space. Would they fit inside the cup, the top of the cup? Mm. Yeah, we Ooh. have the. I don't think That's we... iffy. We have the insert. Ooh. It's. We might. It's a maybe. We might. Oh, it's not going to be pretty if we do it. We but... might get everything in here, but. Oh, that's really. But. Yes. But. We oh, can. It's going to be close. I know it'll make people sad, but we could take the cups. Out. And oh, now, and they and now, it would totally fit. And now we have all this space. Yeah, it would fit. So the cups are probably going to sit on the shelf. Collecting dust. Woo! Collecting yay, dust. Yay! And then yay, we'll use more this dust. section for the expansion. Maybe. maybe. <laughs> totally liquid. Maybe. Ah, Paul. <laughs> That's greatness. Maybe. All right. Oh, man. It's all that. Oh, that's expansion. That's expansion. Oh, darn, I was going to mess with you. I was like, what? You I'm just like, took it out. Like, you just took it out of the box. What are you talking about? Yeah. So that's probably what's going to happen. Oh, uh, it's okay to tuck the... <laughs> James gives his approval that you can take the cups out. Yes. He so approves. if I take the cups out, I think we're all set. <laughs> but we yeah. leave the cups in, it's a no-go. Yeah. Oh, I am I am super stoked. Uh, yeah, it's going to fit. It's going to happen, guys. This is going to happen. Woo! Yeah, it'll fit a little bit, Ryan. If we spread out the cups a little bit, you could fit stuff in there, but really only in the top cup to make it fit nicely. Yeah, I think I was the cups the are going to go up on our shelf of uh, so I think it's easier to just take the cups stuff. out. It's worth a shot, though. It's a good question. It's a good question. Ooh. If you didn't have the if we didn't have the uh, insert and everything was bagged, it probably would fit. Yeah, because we take out that stupid, weird wobbly cardboard insert. You chuck that and you get like. Again, half again the space. You mean this insert? Oh, you're going to just chuck it now? You mean this insert? Bye! <laughs> Always wanted to do that live. That's pretty cool. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I hate those inserts. They're so useless. I know they use it to... Keep... Oh, there is enough dead space in the cups for you? Ooh, really? Oh, cool. Oh, right. you may be able to put them in there. Excellent. Even All right. better. All right, so Tuesday... Tuesday is our top 10 games under 30 minutes. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. 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 Rain or shine or snow. We're going to record Nessa's top 10. Oh, okay. And get that out to you we're next week. Get snow. And I think that's all we have scheduled. We'll probably the week after, the Tuesday after, will be an update. Hopefully we'll get to talk about some of these games. Yeah, then you, we're gonna have to start uh, get, Definitely, you're gonna get a Gloomhaven update. No, so Hopefully, we'll get the, these two played. I don't know if this will get played until probably the game, our game day at the end of the month. So this one. We have a Easter weekend coming up too. Huh? Potentially. So. Yeah. Let's let's get out of here. Ooh, Ryan says each cup holds the five starting dice plus the wooden meeple in the disc. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna do that. That's totally doable then. I'm not sure what this is. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> Save us some time playing around with that. <laughs> what is that? That's Saturn. Come on, man. I don't know if it's Saturn or just a totally. misle shh, misle shh. It's Saturn. <laughs> Alright, let's roll up out of here. I gotta I gotta edit my by the numbers video. Woot woot. And we need to record our best of the month. Woot woot. That so, takes like ten seconds. So we got stuff to do. So <laughs> so this is uh we'll 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 mix in this every once in a while because a lot of times we just Unbox stuff and moved on, but now nah, we'll do a quick half hour or so. It's probably more than a half an hour. Half hour or so of unboxings occasionally if the timing doesn't work. Because sometimes yeah. we get stuff in and we want to play it that same weekend, so it doesn't always work out. Yeah. 
True enough. But thanks, guys. Thanks for joining us with our random unboxing of an unboxing of an unboxing. It was exciting. We'll see you next Tuesday. Tuesday, right? Tuesday. Not next. Not, not, not this Tuesday. I can't find my next mouse. Next Tuesday. Oh, there it is. <laughs> IT problems. Whoops. I can't find my mouse. Bye.